Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Heather, and on this channel we like to do a lot of planty type things. And in today's video, we are going to do a small little unboxing. So editing Heather here, um, I totally didn't realize that you could see the address to my house so easily on my package that I received. And so I decided to take that little bit out. Not that I don't trust everybody out there on the internet, but you know that there might just be a weirdo out there at some point in time. And so I just needed to edit that and get it out of there just to be on the safe side. But this plant unboxing is from Steve's Leaves. I do hope you enjoy. Um, I've never ordered from Steve's Leaves before, so I'm very interested to see how they package their plants and how this plant is going to hold up. Um, now this is a wish list plant. I'm very excited. It's only one plant and it's just a small, probably a small little one, um, but still very, very excited because I've never had this one before. But yeah, let's see how the packaging is and how the plant looks. like this. I wonder if it just slides right out. Oh, it does. And then this is the bottom too. There's no dirt like laying around in the box. So that's a good sign. Hi Sassy, what are you doing? Um, what came with the packaging is, um, you know, what to do when when your order comes in or order arrives. Unpack your plants immediately. Carefully remove the packing paper, plastic, and shredding paper from the soil surface. Check each pot when it's unpacked. The soil is dry, give it some water. If you have ordered a plant that requires high humidity, move it to a plastic bag, terrarium, or humid greenhouse. Do not let strong sunlight shine into an enclosed container. Solar heat will heat up the container and damage your plant the more you know. And there's a lot of other um, tidbits in there too, so I will place that down on the floor. But here's the best part, the unveiling. Look at this Monstera Silta Pecana. This is gorgeous. The leaves, like this really reminds me of like a Skindapsis Satin Pothos. Like this is gorgeous. Like it almost looks reptilian. I mean like look at that leaf. Don't worry, I'll make sure and I put some, uh, some closer footage up on the side. Let's go ahead and unwrap her just a little bit more. I'm gonna use my handy dandy tool. Oh, 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 oh. Just only a little bit of dirt went everywhere. But it like, I think this is the first time I've ever ordered like a plant and there's absolutely no casualties like Every single leaf looks absolutely fine. There's no dead leaves in the box. There's no browning. I mean, just there's so much new growth. There's like there's a new growth point here and some new growth right here. I mean, it's just beautiful. Just a gorgeous plant. It's just like, I, don't, I didn't realize that it was gonna look like this whenever I got it but it's just very like reptilian looking. And I just like, I can't get over that. Um, it's not fuzzy or anything like that. The, uh, the surface is pretty smooth for the most part, but I'm just, oh, this is such a beautiful plant. Uh, I paid $20 for this guy. And I just think that that was 100% worth it. 
Um, very happy, healthy plant, which makes me a very happy, healthy plant mom. And especially since I don't have to worry about it, um, I'm gonna go ahead and acclimate it to the sun, or not acclimate it to the sun. I'm gonna go ahead and get it in the sun a little bit. That way, like she can adjust from uh, being in a box for a few days. Um, but yeah, the soil is still a little moist. It's not like damp or anything like that. Um, I think I think she's good. I think we're gonna have a good time together, me and little Silly. Mm, I love her, she's so pretty. Uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be all for today. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so down below if you like the content and wanna keep seeing more. Um, we do a lot of plant things here and every now and then I might do something like makeup, makeup related. Uh, but you know, we'll see how that goes. Um, and if you aren't following me on Instagram, make sure you do. It is Heather underscore Hoyas. And I like to post a lot of Hoyas and plants on my Instagram as well as like, you know, me living the life, living it up, really being very essential right now. But yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.